At the end of the day, I'm doing what feels right for me and chasing down my dream. So I just spent the last 10 days in Halifax training with German pro goalie coach Jack Hardigan. And we spent that time working on leans, glove positioning, and head movement. And after those 10 days, I hopped on a sleeper train with my buddy Rob alone, and we headed from downtown Halifax across New Brunswick and into Quebec, finally arriving into downtown Montreal, where we would catch our connecting train to Toronto. And after a very mediocre meatball dinner, six hours later, we rolled into downtown Toronto at Toronto Union Station. The reason I was in Toronto was I was spending some time with my girl from Victoria and her family. We were out boating on Lake Erie and I caught my first ever fish and here's a really cringy picture of that. Now, three days later, I was at Toronto Pearson flying back to Winnipeg. Now, Victoria was supposed to fly back to our apartment in Vancouver, but because Air Canada loves their customers, they canceled her direct flight to Vancouver and put her on my flight to Winnipeg with a connection to Vancouver and a 10 hour layover in between. And although Vancouver is technically my home, Winnipeg is where I was born and raised. And with this 10 hour layover, I figured I would give my woman the best, most quintessential Winnipeg experience humanly possible, starting with what was supposed to be Manitoba's best cinnamon bun at Tallgrass Prairie Bakery, but I definitely overhyped it because it was an absolute mediocre cinnamon bun at best. And after that, I took her for a walk around downtown Winnipeg in hopes that we would see somebody getting the old Winnipeg handshake, but unfortunately to no avail. Safe to say everything I showed her was fairly disappointing, but she's probably used to it by now. And after that, it was back to work for me, at least for a few days before I head home to Vancouver. Anchor pegs today. I'm gonna mess around here at Evolution Hockey. Now, when I'm in Winnipeg, I skate with Evolution Hockey, and today I was a net for two NHL draft picks, including Connor Roulette, a good personal friend of mine, and Adam Ingram, as well as USHL stud Isaac Gordon. Now, sessions like this are really great because it continues to help push me in my post hip surgery recovery, test my strength, see where my mobility is at. It also allows me to try to make some reads on different shooters with different releases, especially in different drills. And all in all, this skate was a very good step forward in my progress to just seeing where I'm at six months post-surgery, but I do gotta say my best save of the day was absolutely this back door of getting the Bokov ass glove save. Check it out. So this is probably skate like 10, maybe 15 with the Hyperlite 2 twig and an absolute missile today. She's donezo. I have not broken a mock stick yet, so. Tight on cash, go mock. If you want performance, go Hyperlite. But uh, that's my stick breakdown for 2023 for the Bauer sticks. I am now six months, almost seven months post hip surgery, and I'm rounding 90% on route to that 95, 100 percentile range in my recovery. Now this right here is my trainer, Brian Collins, or at least he was my trainer for the past five years before I moved to Vancouver. Now Brian has seen me go through everything over these past five years, and I figured he's probably the most knowledgeable person when it comes to giving an inside scoop of what has changed with my surgery. Surgery was worth it for him. We made him basically get through the seasons he was doing acupuncture a couple times a week. He was training with me three times a week. His hip was that bad, it was affecting the knee so much. Then he ended up getting cortisone shots. The hip surgery, from what I've seen now, has been absolutely 100% worth it. I'm glad he finally did it. But we have, we've had a wild ride and it's, uh, it's still going because he still comes to visit me. So it's still going. Maybe you'll see me again. Okay, bye. I originally didn't plan to do any game action skates when I came to Winnipeg, but my hip was feeling really good and things were turning in a really positive direction. So I figured I'd try my hand at my first ever game realistic skate since surgery. Something about morning skates, I know the season hasn't started, but it's only like 8 a.m. here. It's that vibe of we're on the road, traveled all night, off the bus, morning skate game tonight. Like I just love that feeling. So this skate is comprised of top junior A and Western Hockey League players, a couple NCAA Division I forwards, as well as graduating players that are going into pro. So this would be a very good skate to keep me honest, to test me, and ultimately see where I can compete right now with my new hip. And I think more importantly, show you why I'm becoming extremely confident in my abilities as of late. And this is how that went. It's my pilot for the day. 
<laughs> so this right here is Evan, and I graduated high school with Evan almost 10 years ago. And I'm not going to lie, reading this voiceover script, I'm kind of feeling a little bit old just thinking about that. But uh, he recently became certified as a pilot, and he invited me up to come for a flight over the prairies just outside of Winnipeg before I went home back to Vancouver. Now, originally, we were going to go over downtown Winnipeg, but that airspace was closed off for our flight time. So this is what my first ever small person plane was like. I'm going to be honest, I absolutely did shit my pants on this plane. And when I did, it was time for a new pair of underwear, which starts from the team at sheathunderwear.com. Sheath Underwear has pioneered their dual pouch technology, which is a separated surrogated compartment that puts your dick in your balls where they're supposed to be so they're not sticking to the side of your leg, and they can breathe properly and feel comfortable throughout your day, especially when you're in a tiny cockpit like this. Sheath Underwear helps your cockpit stay nice and cool and aerated with their bamboo mesh technology and their cooling materials. Sheath has been a presenting sponsor for this vlog, and the company that you see on all my gear every time I escape for a reason. Sheath Underwear was founded by a member of the U.S. military when he was spending time in Iraq and Afghanistan, not changing his gear shell for six weeks at a time, and said, I gotta fix this, make it more comfortable, and offer a better experience to men. And right now, if you go to the link in the video description and use the code TRAVSUCKS, that'll get you 20% off Sheath Underwear, the best underwear money can buy. I promise you won't regret this. And again, click that first link in the video description to get 20% off the best on where money can buy. And I want to say thank you so much to Sheath for sponsoring this video. This is my pilot. <laughs> a little drip, a little drip. So Winnipeg was where I was born and raised. I was 27 years old, I was born in 96. And to be honest, Winnipeg's a really beautiful place. I mean, the old saying, you can see your dog run away for 10 kilometers if that does happen in Manitoba because everything's so flat and it's very true. But uh, Winnipeg will always be home. It's where I played AAA for the first time. It's where I got junior camp invites for the first time. It's where my family is. It's where this vlog started and everything started to kind of take off and blessed with the opportunities that I have to be able to go to play in Sweden for two years, to play in the Fed, now going into my second year, my first full year, uh, to be able to get my hip surgery. And then obviously, I think anybody who's watched my videos for an extended period of time knows that I will go back to Europe for a couple seasons towards the end of my career, uh, with the focus right now being in the Fed and in the SP. But uh, point being is that Winnipeg will always be home. It's a place that I miss. I don't come here very often because obviously I live in Vancouver and then traveling around with hockey, but just uh, an awesome place. I'll always be home. And after this, I was back at the Winnipeg airport and flying home over the Rocky Mountains into my current home in Vancouver. Now, I'm going to start sharing more details about my plans for the upcoming season, where I'm going to be playing in the Fed as I start to ramp things up in the gym with my trainer, John, as well as on the ice my goalie coach, Pascal Bolana, as we start to inch closer to start a training camp and ultimately another FPHL season. I want to say thank you so much for watching this travel vlog. I look forward to seeing you in the next video. I wasn't ready for that. Can you do that again? Okay. I brought Victoria to Winnipeg.